Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Soccer Labs and Soccer Pro. And today, as you see, I have a box in front of me. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a brand new product, a new technology that we are going to be testing, reviewing, and putting into action at our Soccer Labs high tech training facility. So, if you can see this label here, it is coming from Synaptech. And the way I ran into these guys was almost incidental. They, they found us on LinkedIn. They saw what we were doing with Soccer Labs. They saw the technology we put into our training. And they thought that we'd be a good partner. So I talked to these guys. And at first I was like, well, what the heck are you talking about? St strobe glasses. And um, once I started understanding what they were talking about and what they were advocating, I thought, man, that is a genius idea. So basically, let me... Let me just tell you what this company is, Synaptec, S-E-N-A-P-T-E-C. That's S-E-N-A-P-T-E-C.com. You can go online, you can learn a lot more about these glasses straight from the horse's mouth. What I'm gonna be doing is, A, we're gonna do an unboxing today, and then B, I'm gonna be taking these two soccer labs, we're gonna put these into play, and we're gonna find out what the kids think. We're gonna find out what actual soccer athletes think of the glasses, and then we're going to measure the results. We're going to take an analytical approach to testing these glasses out. All right. I don't know if it's going to work, but conceptually, the way these things are supposed to work is with a strobe effect. And what you do is you set the or you wear these glasses, and it basically will limit your your uh, visibility to a certain degree. And it's like getting onto our Vertimax. When we take kids, we strap them on to our Vertimax, and basically we put tension on them, and then we run them through sprint drills, lateral drills, hurdles, uh, all sorts of different drills. But the way that the Vertimax works, of course, is that the kids are under tension, it's giving them extra load, whether they're doing squats, sprints, whatever it might be, and because they are going under extra load, the body responds that much faster to what they're doing, and they become that much better of players, that much faster. So if you look at what these glasses are doing, what these are doing is limiting your visibility. So if you think about the ball coming at you, now instead of having that ball coming unobstructed, all of a sudden you've got your, your visibility limited. You've got 20% or you know whatever percentage that is of being blacked out. Now it's strobing and you have to reacquire that ball that much faster. And you can see the real practical applications of this in a game when the ball is coming through a crowded field. The legs are in the way, people are running. There's all sorts of things that your brain has to do to acquire, reacquire, acquire, reacquire that ball because it's coming through a crowd. You know, goalies, field players, defenders, it really doesn't matter. Everyone is under the same load. And what these glasses do is simulate that load. It puts that load into your training so that you can be a much better player faster. So let me stop talking. Let's start uh, doing some cutting here. So of course we'll have to bring out our Leatherman because who doesn't love a Leatherman, right? If you don't have a Leatherman, you, you gotta have one of these. No matter how these glasses from Synaptech work out, you gotta have a Leatherman. That's just a, a rule. Okay, let's see what these things look like. Oh, okay, before I set this aside, basically they're giving us um, free sensory performance evaluation. Um, I'm not quite sure what these are, but this is what it is. And I'll have to look this up. I'm not even sure what these are. I'm not sure what the sensory performance evaluation is, but eh, it's free, so I'll probably go look it up and inquire about getting one. All right. So what we did is we got two pair. And the reason we got two pair is because we do everything in pairs at Soccer Labs. We always run two at a time, two lateral trainers, two Vertimax, two of this, two of that. And the reason we do two is we like to make teams and then we like to make it uh, competitive. So we go teams of two against other teams of two. And you know, it takes uh, boring, you know, mundane drills, just makes it that much more fun. Okay, so let's pop one of these open. We've got a nice little carrying case here. You should protect the glasses, I assume. So that all looks good. 
And here we have our instructions. So we've got instructions telling you what these things are doing. Uh, very simple, easy to follow. And it has a mobile app. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a mobile app for these as well. And uh, essentially what the mobile app is doing is controlling the glasses. So you're syncing the glasses to your mobile app in order to make the controls. Okay, great. So as I was saying, there are different load levels. So you can adjust the different level of load. So you're going to get more or less strobe effect. And the rest of this is really just about um, how to take care of them and some examples. Okay, so they're just giving an example of different drills that you can do in these glasses. So, all right, on to the glasses themselves. Because I tell you, the, the big concern I have is, will these glasses hold up in a soccer environment? Man, they feel like they're sports safety glasses. Um, very sturdy frames, right? See that? They're thick. Kind of nerd wear. Let's see what they look like. But I'm not sure that I've ever seen uh, sports glasses not look like, let's face it, kind of nerd wear. They have to be big enough. Okay, so you can see if I get hit in the face with these glasses, it's not so bad. It doesn't hurt. Okay, there's no sharp points on these glasses at all. Uh, so these are good. These are good sports glasses. Like I say, a little nerdy looking, but um, they're comfortable when you put them on. And there's, you know, again, you can see that they're all smooth on the inside. So you're not going to take any impacts with these glasses. Here you've got your Bluetooth charger um, and your manual adjustment switch. So there's two ways to do it. You can either use the app, all right? So you've got a, an app that you can use to make these things work, or you can just manually adjust them right there. See that? Okay. And then of course this strap, with Velcro. So I guess you could swap these out. I'm not quite sure why this is like this. Easily adjustable. And just put it back in here. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know the answer to this, but it'd be interesting to know if I could get just some extra replacement straps. That's something I'll have to ask Synaptech. Because the glasses themselves seem very durable. These straps, I, I guess they'll hold up, but, you know, do they get dirty and sweaty? I don't know. I guess you can wash them. I guess it can't be any worse than a, in a heart rate monitor where you've got the same type of strap material. That's what it feels like is a heart rate monitor type of strap material. And here again, you can see this is nice and rubberized, so it's going to stay on your face when you're all sweaty. And also when I was slapping myself in the face, it, it didn't hurt. You know, I didn't feel any sharp pressure on my nose. So like, you know, glasses like this right away, even if I just tap them, you know, it hurts. But here, uh, this rubber surface, it's very nice. Okay, so from a comfort standpoint, from a durability standpoint, it all looks good. I mean, ergonomically, you've got on off, you've got the charger. So the only thing left now is to get these bad boys charged up and get them on some kids and see exactly how they work and whether the kids are running into walls while they're wearing them. I really don't know what to expect with these. But at least I'm happy that the glasses are comfortable, they're durable, they're easy to figure out. I mean, it's just manual up, down, up, down. And uh, they come with a nice case. Oh, wait, I missed something. I thought this was a cushion. Let's see what's in here. Aha. You've got your power supply. and your cord. Oh, this is interesting. They also give you another, another nose piece. So you've got a replacement nose piece. I don't know why this one's different. I don't know why I'd have to actually look it up. Maybe it's, yeah, I don't know why this one's different. Maybe for different size faces or just a different style. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it's just a replacement, but I don't know why it's different. Uh, but anyhow, so you get an extra nose piece, 
you've got your USB plug and your power supply. So everything you need is right here. You don't have to go off and get another power supply. I tell you, that was one of the things that I found so irritating when I, when I got my uh, GoPro Fusion, a $700 camera, and they didn't even give you a power supply. And then the power supplies are so, well, they're all different, and only one power supply would work. It had to be an exact, exactly a 2.0 uh, amp. It couldn't be 2.1, it couldn't be 1.8, it had to be 2.0 exactly. And then they didn't give you one. These, I think, were $350 for these glasses, and they come with a nice case. They go um, cord, power supply, and an extra nose piece. And again, the mobile app. So everything I need is here. All I have to do is plug these in, test them out, and when I do, I'll get some video of the kids actually using them, wearing them at Soccer Labs, and get their feedback so you know whether these things are you know, a gimmick or an effective training tool. Me being the optimist, I tend to believe that these are going to be really cool. Uh, the way they limit your visibility, I can't help but think that it's going to help the exact same way running, doing jump squats with the Vertimax accelerates your speed gains. I have to feel, I, I feel like these are going to uh, accelerate our foot skills, our acquisition, our ability to, to go from not having the ball to having the ball and to be in a situation where the game starts to slow down. Uh, we've all had that experience where you start to get good at something and all of a sudden it slows down. Well, if we can get good at managing the ball with these glasses on with 20% of our vision limited, that means the whole game is going to slow down for us and it's going to be easier to do everything we're going to do with the ball because everything, the decision making, the visibility, the panic isn't there. That's what I'm hoping happens with these glasses. That's what I uh, uh, brought these into soccer labs with the expectation that they would do just that. So, like I said, we'll get them charged up, we'll get them on the heads of some kids, we'll get them out doing some drills and then we'll get it on video and get you some feedback and let you know what the other kids think about these glasses. And we'll also grab some data too to see if there's actually a acceleration of skills gains, which I, I believe there probably will be. All right, this is Gary with Soccer Labs and Soccer Pro, and I'll see you later. Have a great day now, bye. All right, the last thing I wanted to do is show you that when you plug these in, you get these nice little battery meters here that show you how much charge you have in the glasses. And also, you get to see that the glasses are actually plugged in and charging on a live circuit. So that's always a nice thing to know. Now we'll let these things sit for a while and I'll come back to you shortly. <laughs>